This is what we flew all the way around the world for. If you PR this, they're gonna put one of those posters of you up on the wall. It's top secret, you're not allowed a camera in there. <laughs> Strong, but also sensitive and cuddly. Slaughter master. <laughs> Imagine walking in here for the first time as a member. Yeah. I'm seeing the slaughter master <laughs> waiting for you. What is up, you sexy beasts? We are here at uh, Butcher's Lab CrossFit, the very first box in Denmark, Copenhagen. I believe maybe even the second box in all of Europe. I've heard that, so a uh, very well-established gym. And this used to be a butchery, so pretty unique gym, uh, a lot of history. You might have seen these guys at the games. They sent five teams to the semi-final this year, and they are regulars of the game. So I'm gonna go train in there and check it all out. Come along. <laughs> this is actually the real team butchers in 890 or something like that, right? And here you can see where all the cabins were hanging from the ceiling. It's legit. Okay, but can you show me the back of your hoodie? All the staff, you can take your bag off, yeah? <laughs> all the staff have this on the back of their hoodies. <laughs> that is so legit. Slaughter master. Imagine walking in here for the first time as a member yeah. and seeing the slaughter master <laughs> waiting for you. Okay team, this is what we flew all the way around the world for to come and visit a Leiko HQ here in Halmstad, Sweden. We've just caught a train from Copenhagen here to Halmstad. My good buddy Ty from Vive Group is the keynote speaker at a two-day seminar. They've got uh, 70 gym owners attending. So we are gonna educate, we're gonna train, we're gonna get a tour of the facility. And these guys make hands down the best barbell in the world. So, I want to go behind the scenes and find out how they make these things, you know? It's very clear when people feel strong, healthy, capable. And that is our mission here at the LACO. So we work to make people stronger so they can perform better in sports and in life. That was amazing. We just learnt how they make, like hand make, hand assemble the uh, the barbells in there. So um, it's top secret. You're not allowed a camera in there. Uh, so you're gonna have to just trust me, unfortunately. Anyway, now it's uh, it's time to train. This place is overwhelming. There's just so much equipment. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to do with my session. But I spotted this little force measuring measuring platform. So I might go and play around with that while we uh, while we decide what to do. So I've, I've set the straps to be uh, kind of, I guess, deadlift set up. So let's see uh, let's see what the screen says here. It's calibrating. Have a look at this tie. It actually measures your strength in animal uh, animals. So. I really want to be a lion, eh? 267 kgs. I haven't got that in me. I might have a panda in me. Panda's 200 kgs, so let's see. Might be a koala. <laughs> okay. Sup. Oh, get up to the wild hog. Ooh, that's 223 kgs. I'm not sure how accurate that is to a deadlift. My max deadlift like 215, so I'm gonna go one more time. I reckon I'm gonna be a wild hog. Sup. Okay, let's go. Wild hog, baby. <coughs> nah, I'm gonna break my back. <laughs> I'm happy for Panda, you know? Strong, but also sensitive and cuddly, so it's 
a bit like me. Guys, I was just about to start training and I found the CEO of the Lyco here, Eric. Not only the tallest man I've ever met in my life, um, but uh, also a very good dude. So I wanted to ask him about Lyco's focus on sustainability. For us, sustainability is really, uh, in the essence, about uh, making our products last as long as possible. And sometimes it's even forgotten that that, that, is, the, that is the ultimate sort of principle for, for, for contributing to, to uh, uh, to sustainability, uh, I think. So we work a lot with really extending the lifetime uh, of our products. And of course we have our, our bar, which is our hero product. And, uh, 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 and we are very proud of that bar. And, and uh, you know, that is a product that we think should last a lifetime if, uh, if used uh, in, the, in, the, in the right way. And we have bars that are still, still uh, from the 60s and the 70s that are used in facilities. But at the core is to make the products last as long as possible. Okay team, I'm jet lagged, so I don't feel like doing a wad. So low hanging fruits, Wonder Max deadlift, you know? We had the Wonder Max deadlift at the Invitational last weekend and it seems like everyone's been maxing out their deadlift this week. So I'm gonna join that train. Last time I deadlifted Wonder Max, I had 210. So if I can hit 220 today here at Aleiko, 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 Aleiko. They all say different, eh? So let's go, got a 240 on the bar, warming up. That platform is just something else. Eh? That's a Ferrari or a Lamborghini of, uh, of lifting platforms. 160 on the bar. Actually, yeah, Mads just reminded me that these fancy new clips are 0.25 kg. So don't forget those, half a kg between the two of them. What are they called? The open, uh, open collar. Look at this, it's an open collar. Just so easy to use. Just genius. Uh, 180 on the bar, chalkies. Oh, wow. That's only 180. Oh, that wasn't a PR? No, <laughs> <laughs> a long way off. Oh, that's good. Okay. It's gonna be started. I got excited, but he's gonna go five rep. If that was a PR, it would've been ecstatic. Put out of after landing. <laughs> Chasing deadwood. Okay, I've made an aggressive jump here, come from 180 to 200. So uh, let's go. I've got the sneaky belt on now. This doesn't look as cool when you've got the belt over your shirt, you know, so going for the sneaky belt. Come on. Okay, so I loaded the bar of 210, and then Mad's like, are you doing 210 before you do 220? I was like, yeah, I was going to, but he's convinced me to go straight to 220, so 20 kg jump. This might be my last lift, ever. Ever. <laughs> Wasn't my idea. <laughs> nah, that's, I'm, I'm gonna get it. 220, gotta make it happen. Flew all the way from Australia to Sweden. Uh, if you PR this, they're going to put one of those posters of you up on the wall. It'll, it'll either be because you PR'd or it'll be an immemorial. <laughs> Get it off the floor. Let's go. Come on. <sighs> yeah, baby. Easy money. <laughs> Let's go. That felt really good. You got five kilos? Felt too good. Yeah. I think I'm happy. I think I'll leave it there. <laughs> Thank you. What is going on now? Eh? Your voice getting stronger. I'm not training that hard. Must be a bit of, bit of old man strength.
fun fact, Aleko actually started as a kitchen appliance company, making waffle makers and kettles and all sorts of things before they got into uh, fitness equipment. What is this, Matt? Well, this is why most likely Elago will not do cardio equipment. This is the first uh, Elago uh, airbike ever made. I want to see these lined up at the games next year. 30 of these. You can see the logo here. What was it? Uh, Justin Moyer and then let's go. Let's see if Ty listened to Eric's presentation the other day. Do you remember what Elico actually stands for, Ty? Yeah, it's, I remember exactly. It's Electrical Installation Limited Company. Uh, tell me about the testing. Um, do you test every bar and if it's not up to standard, do you send it out anyway or what do you do with it? And each bar is tested, uh, pressure tested for 1500 kilos, three places before we send it out on the market. One time on each sleeve and one time here in the middle. And it's the machine who does the test and, and of course the bar bends, That's, that is supposed to bend. But we measure, uh, measure it with a laser uh, when it's straightened out. And we measure it at uh, a, a thick of a, of a hair. Uh, so if, if it's inaccurate, straighten out, it's, uh, it's uh, going to recycle and we don't send it out on the market. So if the bar doesn't return to a shape that's outside of the a hair, like a laser as thin as a hair, that's no good and that's it good. doesn't get sent out. That's not a like standard. standard, that is unbelievable. There you go team, that concludes our two days here at Leco HQ. Unfortunately, I did not get to keep my barbell. You know, that was, that barbell was sturdy. I would personally guarantee a lifetime, a lifelong guarantee on that barbell. <laughs> but uh, what the team did give me is a little gift, the, uh, the open collars. So I'm pretty pumped to take these back to Australia and add them to the home gym. It's been a blast. The uh, equipment and the culture here is next level. Honestly, the equipment is, it's hard to explain how high the quality is. It is the, the, Swede, the Swedish, the Swedes, the, the Swedonians, the Swedes are built differently, eh? Um, they do things very, very well. So I'm grateful and uh, I look forward to getting back here again one day. Hope you enjoyed that video. You stay sexy, keep roaring love, and I'll see you soon. Mwah.